Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by Big4AccountingFirms.com and the Big Four Accounting Firms YouTube channel. In today's podcast, I wanted to talk about something I've been thinking about recently and just come up, and it's uh, happy hours of the Big Four Accounting Firms. It seems like just when everybody's ready to get back to the office in certain places, uh, people want to have happy hours and variants are popping up everywhere. But it doesn't mean that people still don't want to go to happy hours. And there's just changing dynamics of the big four in the office world. You see all these fluff articles from LinkedIn, HBR, Forbes. You're going to see them fast company telling you things that will change permanently as a result of the pandemic. Nobody can know. Everybody's just taking their guess. But now people can approach happy hours and social socializing and networking at the big four accounting firms from a different standpoint. And some people in the big four have to go back to the office at least a little bit. Uh, the big four are requiring it in some instances, but a lot of them also let you work from home. Uh, I think it just depends on your location, depends on your office and your company, because some people are already working from home before the the pandemic. And, and I worked from home a lot and, Working from home allows you, working from home, not not just working from home, but just COVID in general changes the whole dynamic of social, socializing in the big four accounting firms. And specifically with result, with regards to happy hour, people can change the way they interact with people. Because when you first join the big four, is let's, let's say an intern or an associate, typically you want to socialize, you want to get out there and meet people. Uh, some people do. Others don't from the start, but some people do. But the pandemic, which has been going on now for over a year and a half, uh, changes that dynamics. And you can get out of happy hours and social events a lot easier now because you can say that you're afraid because of the pandemic of a variant and you can skip out on it. Or you could just say you've been working from home too long, your immune system's compromised. Uh, you, you have a lot more excuses now than you ever did before in case you don't want to hang out with accountants, because I know that's a big thing too. Like not everybody wants to hang out with their coworkers and hang out with fellow accountants. So now you have, you have a new path out of it, or I mean, there's almost infinite paths now. Uh, you might not be in the same city. You might be working from home. You might have to go back to the office, but you uh, don't want to go to the happy hour. So you know, maybe lock yourself up in an office or at your cube and put a mask on so people so people know that you don't want to necessarily interact. Uh, there's different ways to approach it, but you have to start thinking about it because people do want to start getting together again. People still in the big four accounting firms, shockingly, still want to use the, those things to motivate people, even though going to a happy hour with other people or any type of event with other people might cause anxiety because... Uh, we are still going on in this pandemic. There's people view it in different perspectives. So, and, and people respect their personal space in different perspectives. They're vaccinated, not vaccinated. Some people vaccinated feel very comfortable without a mask and around people. So there's just a whole lot of dynamics that can go on. Uh, you have to be thinking about this because there's going to be some people that definitely want to do a happy hour. And now if it's lower level people that want to do happy hour and you don't, it's going to be a little bit easier to avoid it. But if you have somebody like a partner who's eager to rally the team or, you know, senior manager that wants to get people together, then you have to really be cognizant of it, especially if they keep bringing it up, because then that means they do want to connect with you. So it's something you have to think about. And it's easy to disregard, uh, come up with an excuse to not go to a happy hour or social event. But you also need to think about your career because since there will be a lot of people that do not want to go to these events, you there are going to be openings here to get closer to people higher up that you might not have had in the past uh, face-to-face. Obviously, you don't want to get that close, but you there's going to be opportunities opening up to get more time with the partner. If your partner is willing to meet up at a happy hour, they're the one pushing it, and there's going to be more more possibilities of you getting closer to them because the way it used to be in social events and things like this is all the brown nosers would 
try and get close to the partner, take up their time, and then the partner would leave early. But now, as a junior person, there's a possibility here of you gaining access to partners and potentially working on things that you wouldn't have worked on in the past or maybe getting close to a senior manager. And one event won't change your career, but if there's multiple events and you're able to take advantage of them, then then there's a lot of potential for you to move your move forward in your career. But alternative, alternatively, as I said before, there's also potential for <laughs> to to squeak out a lot of these social events like there wasn't before. Uh, just like there's potential to work from home a lot more than people used to. So that's something that I, I wanted to discuss. People need to think about how they're going to approach these things because you can either take advantage of it or you can take a back seat and find out the best excuses you're going to use to be in the back seat. But that's the update for today. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast to get future updates and like this video on YouTube. Thanks for listening.